Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey all, we're here for Ask a Realtor. It is Thursday at 5 um, and today we thought we'd do something different. Mm -hmm. um, lots of buyers wonder what it's going to be like when they go out to look at their first home. So um, this is a house at an undisclosed location <laughs> and uh, we'll just do a walkthrough and uh, you can see what, it, what, uh, what the first showing is like. Um, I will mention that before an agent shows you a house, um, they're going to go over two forms with you. One is a consumer notice that the Pennsylvania Real Estate Commission requires every agent to go over with clients before at the beginning of the uh, business relationship. It's just a notice. Um, and then they're also likely going to give you, uh, not give you, go over a buyer agency contract. Because in the state of Pennsylvania, unless you sign a contract of some sort, um, the agent isn't representing you, is what the consumer notice says. But don't be worried, there's, there's things called non-exclusive um, buyer agency contracts where you're free to work with other agents, it just binds you to the house. Maybe we'll go over that in another lesson. We are alive, so he'll come to check. <laughs> and they're going to think that we're really funny. They're going to think we're crazy. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Maybe it's a buyer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our neighbor. Go buy a house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nice guy. Yes. <laughs> oh, I know. I sold him a house. He's Did you really? Like, yes. <laughs> I know who that is. I'm sorry. Back to Back the to show. Back to live. We're live. Okay, so we're here. Um, before we get to this part, um, location is important. I know everyone's heard location, 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 but it, it really does matter. So take the time to look at the neighborhood, calculate driving distances to work, um, where the grocery stores are, things like that. Um, location's important. So let's assume that um, we're here and this is the buyer's location that they wanted mm -hmm. to be in. Um, this, when you look, when you come up on a property, you're gonna look um, parking. Uh, for example, as you can see, this house can uh, hold a lot of cars. Um, there's nice privacy here. So that's important to some people. Huge front yard. Huge front yard. So make sure you like to mow. <laughs> um, it's currently uh, the end of March. You can see there's going to be lots of daffodils here soon. Uh, that's what the girls will notice. <laughs> the guys will be looking at the size of the garage. Uh, this is a one car detached. Um, you want to look at things like your roof. Um, the chimney, the windows, you know, are they insulated? Um, the appeal, you know, you have to like your house. Sometimes if you don't like the colors, things can be painted. Like this has brown shutters, you might want green. That's an easy thing to change. Another thing to look at, gutters and downspouts. Yes. In the corner there. Very important. Mm -hmm. Yep, this house has them. And this one goes along there. And that, that side part there is like a coal bin. Um, so you'll notice that that roof sags a little bit. I joked with Courtney, I said if our main roof looked like that, we'd have more of a concern, but <laughs> again, that's a coal bin. Um, anything else you should point? It's quiet here. It's very quiet. So, sometimes there's noise, like traffic noise or something. This is quiet. Really quiet. Really quiet. Okay, I'm going to lay this down and we're going to go ahead inside. All right. We are familiar with this listing, so I'll tell you it's a four bedroom, four, bedroom, four bedrooms, um, which is huge. If you need four bedrooms. <laughs> 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 Freshen up, 
Fixtures. You would do the lighting with floor lamps and such. I think there is one there, but it doesn't have a bowl in it. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure if it's hard to see. This is actually the master bedroom. Really good size. Mm -hmm. Closet um, in there. Again, it wouldn't have to be the master. Some people like to have, they like to be close to the children's bedrooms. Right. The older the children get, the more the further away you want to be. <laughs> Just kidding me if you're watching. <laughs> New floor, new carpeting, yeah. This house is a big uh, family room. Um, whenever you're looking at a house with uh, four bedrooms, if you've got a family that needs four bedrooms, you probably need both of a these areas room and a yeah. room to get away from each other. <laughs> um, so, this is electric heat. Um, the panel locks, uh, again, I'm assuming you're going to be looking at things with an agent. You'll want to see that it's updated and how many amps it is and all that good stuff. Um, what did we forget? Another bathroom down here. Another bathroom. So when you check bathrooms, again, just um, it's to your liking. So this one happens to be a stand-up shower uh, and an older vanity. So we didn't look at the whole house, but um, it's the cold. We looked at the whole house, the yeah. cold and, and the back of the house. Of course, you'd spend more time with it. Usually, when you go out and look at houses, you schedule. You're probably going to meet your agent the first time at the first house, um, but then after you go through a few, you, you kind of get, you get the feel for it. Yeah, get the feel for it. And until you actually look, you may not be sure of what you want. Right. But, but after you look at a female, like, you know what? I don't like that layout. Yeah, and it exactly. kind of narrows down. Sometimes you and your significant other want different things. Yeah. And that's always <laughs> interesting and fun. Um, don't be afraid. Don't feel like you have to take notes and remember every single detail. Um, because if you like a house, even after you see three or four, your agent can bring you back for what we call a second showing uh, to make sure that you like it. <clears throat> oh. What you should do before you look at houses. Good one. Go ahead. No, you do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you're better at it. Um, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> you should get pre-qualified. 
Um, especially in the market today, um, there are fewer houses than there are, than is what need, is needed for the buyers. So con consequently, we, we're seeing multiple offers and they're not lasting long. Um, so make the call. You can get pre-qualified. It doesn't cost you anything. <clears throat> you don't even have to go or sign anything. You just give the information to the lender and they can email you something. Uh, you can actually find out if you're qualified today and you can be looking at houses tomorrow. And we have lenders on our website yes, at we cometothecastle.com. So what was that web address? <laughs> cometothecastle.com. You can spell it <laughs> T-O or with the number T. Yes, you can. Um, find an agent you're comfortable with. If you go to look at houses and for any reason you don't feel comfortable with the agent, you know, that's one of the things why the non-exclusive buyer agency is good. Until you find an agent that, that you really feel comfortable with and trust, um, you don't need to sign any kind of long-term. I'm getting into the next show, aren't I? <laughs> uh, questions. Ask your, buy, ask your agent questions. Don't, there's no question is a no question. Um, ask away. We've heard them all a few times. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. What time is it? Are we good? Uh, 5.11. All right, that's enough. Is that enough? I think so. We did good. If you want to buy this house, call Courtney <laughs> at four eight four six one nine six eight zero three. Yes. I feel like a commercial. Oh, oh, that's another thing we can go over. Um, if you find a house you like, and and then you're like, what's the next step? The next step would be to put in an offer. Um, if you use a Castlegate agent, we do a market analysis. Uh, for you before you do that. So we can tell you what the current market uh, value is on the home. We won't just look at you and say, what do you want to offer? Um, but we'll need some basic information and then we'll sit down with you and go over the offer. Um, usually, that should be another show. We're going to do another show on how to put an offer in on your first offer. In on that's a, a good idea. Yeah. Um, so that's it. That's it. Thank you.